What advice would you give to someone starting out as a writer today? Well, be be your own self. Don't don't try to imitate anybody. You know, we all tried to imitate Bradbury. <laughs> Fortunately, we outgrew it. But uh, you know, they always say write about only write about what you what you know. I think that's limited. I would say write about only, only write about what you're really interested in. Because if you're really interested in something, you can do research on it and find out about it. But Write from within, with emotion. Don't be superficial. And, and most, uh, whenever I get, I've gotten many letters saying, you know, how do I start writing? What do I do? And I don't know. I give them some gobbledygook answer. My, I know to myself, you're never going to become a writer, because if you're going to become a writer, you would never write a letter like that. I would never have dreamed of writing a letter like that. I was home in my cubby hole, writing myself, doing it my own way. I wasn't asking anybody, how do I do this? I was doing it badly at first, but then with more and more skill as time went on. So you, you can't, there's, there's no less, I took writing courses at college, but they didn't teach you how to write. You know, like they gave you a, a chance to read your stories and let the other students react. They couldn't, they can't, you can't teach writing. It's just, as Ray Bradbury says, write a story a week for, for every year, you know, write 52 stories a year. And when he, when he started writing, he was not that good a writer. He made himself a good writer by writing and writing and writing. You're bound to, you're bound to get better. I mean, if you don't get better after writing 52 stories in a year, you know, get a job in a factory.